Welcome guys, Ryan at the Revit Network here. View templates offer a great way to personalize and preset a series of settings according to your personal preferences. Save them and reuse. You can even transfer your templates over from a previous drawing to use in a new one. Join me as I run through exactly how these work and offer up a few tricks along the way. way to set up a view template according to your preference is actually to first set up one of your views according to what you need. This includes all necessary overrides, hidden objects, shadows, levels of detail, everything. Once you're happy with what a view or drawing looks like, simply right click on it in the project browser and select create view template from view. You'll be asked to name your template and hit OK. And you're done. End of video. Still here? Ok, here's some more information. This tab allows you to create, modify and categorize all of your templates. This works well if you have a whole bunch of drawing templates already set up and good to go, but is a little useless when you're starting out. You control all of your view templates from the tab that's currently open. If you close it, you can find it again via the properties tab for a view. Scroll down to the identity data and next to the view template, click on the button. If the button displays none, it means no template is currently applied to that specific view. If it says something else, then a template has been applied. I actually never leave a template applied to a view because it locks you out of changing most settings for that view. The only good time I find for keeping a series of views with a template applied is when I'm issuing a drawing set and making graphic changes that I want to apply to all drawings. And this isn't very often. Because you can see how automatically making graphic changes to multiple drawings can go wrong really quickly. So what I do is set up my templates as above, then go back to the project browser and right click on the drawings I want the template applied to and select apply template properties. This will apply all settings, but still allow you to make the changes that you require. This means you lose the functionality for all drawings and view styles to auto update in exchange for the ability to make changes to your views whenever you choose. In my experience, each and every drawing is unique, so trying to force one template onto multiple drawings just doesn't work for me. But hey, you do what you like, you're your own special snowflake. You're going to want to mess around with these a bit as the options are numerous. Templates work with phases, orientation, disciplines, color schemes, and so much more. You can, for instance, save structural views that hide everything but columns, grids, and beams. You can likewise create sketch plan templates using coarse detail, shaded view and shadows, then consequently create construction drawing templates that hide most of these options. It's worth spending some time to set these up if you plan on using them, but also keep in mind that different projects will call for different approaches, and unfortunately one size never really fits all. Think about how shadows and orientation would change on a per project basis or how the drawing technique of a residential home differs from that of a multi-story tower. How you set this up to better help yourself and your drawing techniques is one of the greatest things Revit has to offer. Thanks for watching this short video guys, did this help you out? Let me know what you think in the comments, please give us a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already, give us suggestions on what you need help with, and maybe share this with your friends if you want to be one of the cool kids. See you again soon.